hey guys it's me talha so here is another revit presentation drawing tutorial in this video i will be showing you how to create this kind of cool looking section presentation drawings just in revit without using photoshop or illustrator now before we begin i would like to remind you to check out my advanced revit courses on learnrevitonline.com and if you find this video beneficial consider supporting my work on patreon to help me create new videos every week anyway let's get started so here i have this project file open and i have already created a section here let's open this section view by double clicking this section head and as you can see i already have added the dimensions and the doors and windows tags if you want to know how to create this kind of door tags with width and height parameter feel free to check out my previous video anyway i have added the thread numbers as well which you can do by simply going to annotate and selecting the thread number here and just picking these stairs anyway the main purpose of this video is to show you how to create a section presentation drawing so let's do that first thing i am going to do is add shadows let's open up the graphic display options and here let's expand shadows and check this cast shadows and hit apply as you can see it turned dark now to fix this we can adjust lighting so let's expand the lighting menu and click here to open up the sun settings and then go to lighting and i'm going to select sunlight from top right hit apply there we go it's looking a lot better but still we need to do some adjustments so let's change the values here i've already tested the settings that work well with this section view in the azimuth i'm going to put 190 degrees and altitude should be 5 degrees let's click apply there we go it's looking much better now if you want you can play around with these settings until you achieved the desired results i'm just going to use the same settings so let's click ok ok again now the next step is to change the background color so to do that we can go to file options and then graphics and here we have the background color let's click here i'm going to use this color code you can see the color changes here let's click ok there we go the background color has changed and the rest has turned into white automatically we didn't have to do anything revit did the job for us now i'm going to highlight the walls and the floors so let's right click on this wall then override graphics in view by category and we want to add a cut pattern first i'm going to select brickwork pattern from this list and then uh, the color let's leave it as it is and click apply now i want to add background color as well so first let's select solid fill from this list and then add a background color and I'm going to use this color code. And let's click OK. There we go. Let's quickly do that with the floor as well. So let's select the floor, right click, override graphics in view by category. And let's select this pattern for the floor. And I'm going to add the same background color as well that we use for the walls. click apply okay and okay it did not work so i think go back to the graphics settings again and okay i forgot to choose the solid fill and there you have it i will just quickly repeat that with the staircase as well and i'm going to use the same pattern as the floor for the stairs and the same color for the background as well perfect so our uh, section presentation view is almost ready but if you notice here the section head is still blue and we don't have option to change the color of level heads in revit so we need to create a new one using the field region so let's do that first i will just drag it here and let's go to annotate just click this drop down and select fill region 
and I'm just going to create a level head like so and we want to choose a white color for this as well so let's click edit type duplicate and change the foreground pattern to solid fill and change the color to white let's click ok click finish ok we we actually had to do the opposite because we have changed the background color so this pattern fill should be black so we uh, so it will turn into white so let's quickly do that i'm just going to select black color from here there we go and now let's create a detail line here and i'm going to add the text here let's put the same name as this level head and then i'm just going to copy this and put the height there we go let's copy this to the other levels i will quickly change the name of the levels as well as the heights now let's create the dashed line here for the levels let's select detail line from here and then use pick lines make sure you have selected overhead from this drop down and just pick these levels let's hide these levels right click on this one hide in view category let's quickly drag these lines here now before exporting this we need to do the final step which is adjusting the crop region so let's click here show crop region and we get this rectangle just drag it here and then we need to crop this view by clicking here perfect now this view is ready to be exported so let's go to file export and just hover over this little arrow and go to images and animations and select image now here first we want to uh, select the file location where we want to save this uh, image i'm going to save that here and then we need to select zoom to and make it 100 percent jpeg medium should work fine and then we just want to increase the raster image quality let's select 300 there we go our section view is now exported let's see that so that's how easy it is to create this kind of cool looking section presentation drawings in Revit. And of course, you can use the same settings for the floor plans as well. If you want to change the background color again to white, you can just go to File, Options, and just select white color for the background again. So that's it for this video. I hope you have learned something new. So please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, don't forget to check out my advanced Revit courses on learnrevitonline.com. And if you found this video beneficial, consider supporting my work on Patreon to help me create new videos every week. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.